The great thing about animators is their decisiveness. They know exactly what they want. Every frame is planned and every detail matters. And if you don't believe me... So many people make movies, they don't know what they want. They say, well, I think I want this. I think I want the person to scream now, or I think I want you to act like you're happy, no, scared. You know, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I've heard this before, I've, I've, I've heard this, and once you know what you want, getting it is not that hard. It just takes time if you really want to stick to, if you have a very clear cut. That's why I'm so in love with the Disney animators, why I think animation is, is the father of, of you, know, you know, cinema, live action cinema. Because they have to have in their mind a clear picture of how a chipmunk rolls over in the snow. They gotta know what each side of that chipmunk looks like. And they don't build chipmunks and roll them over into fake snow. They have to use their imaginations and paint these things 12, 12 cells a second. And how the fur moves and how the wind's blowing. And it, 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 it's just, that's why I think all directors should be animators first. So with that, I'm gonna talk about the scene like it's live action. Like there's a real camera crew and these are real actors. The first setup is a medium shot of Linguini looking lost in the kitchen. Colette's entrance makes it a two shot before we cut to setup two when she takes control of the station. Linguini's over the shoulder shot lets us watch a real chef in action. This one shows how lost he is and over the shoulder for Remy's view, but then it changes when we get to this shot. All the shots before this had two things in common. There was more than one thing to look at, and each cut told us something new. Think of it like a sentence. Linguini was working inefficiently, before Colette fixes his station, shows him what a real chef looks like, while Linguini looks shell-shocked and Remy looks scared. But this shot tells us something we already know. The previous shot showed us that Remy was scared, and in this shot, there's only him to look at. So this signals a new sentence. What is it telling us? But must arrive on the customer's table at exactly the same time, hot and chocolate. Every second counts, and you cannot be mommy! So this sentence is, Remy is scared, of her skills and her intensity. The previous sentence had a linear trajectory. It was a story. Each cut acted like a comma that separated from the previous clause. But here Brad Bird doesn't cut. He pans, which gives both pieces of information equal weight, which accentuates an and, not a comma. Not only does it make this sequence smoother, but it makes sense in this grammar analogy. So the second part of the scene is only three shots, but the editing is really strong because they're cutting on such severe action. First cut. Second cut. And this two shot is great shot design. Colette dominates the first two thirds before invading Linguini's third, letting us really feel the intimidation. This shot is Colette forcing action from Linguini and the camera. Then we cut to Colette's two shot. Insert of Remy imitating. Colette teaching in her two shot. You will minimize cuts and burns and, and now that Linguini knows it, we can go back to his two shot. The scene is just one close up in one two shot. Some directors and editors do a shot reverse shot to keep a certain rhythm and pace going, but you don't always have to do that. If the two shot gets the dynamic right, then just leave it there. No, 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 no. It was his job to be unexpected. It is our job to follow the recipe. The bread scene starts with a close up that swings into a two shot. Not the smell, not the look, but the sound. An insert of Remy, and then back again. When we're talking about the produce, we start with a close-up to give us a subject, a two-shot to establish the who, a zoom in from the two-shot to further the story, and then a pan over to Colette to finish it. Then we get all the origin stories. Now this starts off with Colette and Linguini in a two-shot. Their action before the cut lets us know this is a POV shot. <laughs> the whip pan imitates the human the action of turning your head to look somewhere else, which goes into another montage of shots, profile, the major medium shot, the second largest bank in France using only a point pen. over I the shoulder, a in the ozone of radio. and a tight I symmetrical close-up. Then another whip pan, He's been banned from Las Vegas. the camera follows and another chef, LaRousse ran gun for the resistance. Which resistance? He won't say. Apparently they didn't win. Before back so to the two shot. We are artists, pirates. What the cooks are we? We don't have to scour the best picture nominees to find now. examples of great fundamentals. We. Great filmmaking is everywhere. Thank you, by the way, for all the advice about cooking. Thank you too. For for what? For taking it. Thanks for watching.